Vaccines versus variants. That's what the COVID-19 home stretch looks like. We're looking at almost 6 million people vaccinated in Florida right now, but health experts are telling us the fourth wave could be coming. Our Liz Crawford looks at where Tampa Bay stands in the race to the COVID finish line. We're really neck and neck right now. Um, and whatever we can do to speed up our side, the good guys, which is the vaccine side, and slow down the bad guy, which is the virus, we should be doing. Let's talk about the good guy first, the vaccines. As of Tuesday, the majority of Tampa Bay counties are looking at about a quarter of their populations vaccinated. Sarasota County is at 40%. Herd immunity, we're going to need to be up around 75%. So for the vaccines, we have a long way to go. That's why scientists are still encouraging face coverings. Hillsborough, Pinellas and Pasco County still have indoor mask requirements. The vaccine is up against the virus, specifically the B117 variant, which spreads easier. It is the dominant form of the SARS-2 virus in Florida right now. Percent positivity is trending upwards across the region. That's the percentage of positive results out of all tests processed on a given day. The World Health Organization recommends that number stay below 5% before governments start reopening. All of Tampa Bay is above that. The virus is going to really, if we're not careful, be able to take off and uh, give us another big peak within the next four weeks or so. And in Tampa Bay, the people most likely to get and spread the virus are between 30 and 50 years old. If we halt transmission, we halt its ability to change. We halt its ability to become a newer and worser variant. 